Balls joining us. Right, if you're along the coastline, if you're in Lee County, Collier County, things are just fine. Same in Charlotte, though we do have some light showers right now. I'll show you those in a minute. It's farther inland that we are tracking the strong to severe storm threat this evening. But a live look at a quiet Caloosahatchee River from the Luminary Hotel in downtown Fort Myers. We're at 83 degrees. Dew point is sticky. It's the measure of moisture in the air. The higher it goes, the soupier the air feels, and that also contributes to a heat index. So even at this hour, as we start to head through the 6 o'clock hour, it's still feeling more like 86 degrees. And those temperatures today, definitely on the warm side, not quite in record territory, but yet again, running above average. Fort Myers, we officially hit a high of 90. Naples registered 88. And in Punta Gorda, we hit a high of 87. So all records safe for now. So here we go. See along the coast, things overall pretty quiet, other than those couple of showers right here in Sarasota and western Charlotte County. Not worried about anything strong or severe there. That potential is farther inland where you see this giant yellow box. It's a severe thunderstorm watch box, and it does extend all the way even into central Florida. And you can see why. Very vigorous thunderstorms right here bubbling up right over central Hendry County. This storm, as it approaches Montura, thankfully we're no longer seeing that little bullseye of magenta indicating where we earlier had some nickel sized hail, possibly that's what that meant. But we are still seeing very heavy rainfall and frequent lightning, but also another sign of this storm collapsing. We're not seeing as many cloud to ground lightning strikes here in the last 15 minutes. So good progression here with this weakening storm, though, still overall pretty strong. And I suspect, especially with it collapsing down, it could easily produce those gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. So Montura heads up there as well as Devil's Garden. Meanwhile, back toward LaBelle, everything is nice and quiet here after you dealt with some downpours earlier on. Now that downpour is over the Palmdale area, and that's going to be tracking off toward the east, heading toward Lakeport. So Lakeport, get ready. It looks like another round is heading your direction. Farther toward the west now across Charlotte County, you see these little spotty sprinkles working their way from Inglewood through Watunda, the Cape Hayes Peninsula, El Jabin, back toward Murdoch, seeing those light rain areas, but not worried about any lightning or any kind of threat like that that could really chase you inside because of the danger. Not worried about that along the coastline this evening because these winds will continue out of the southwest. So that will keep all of the activity farther inland. That's going to be the case again for most of tomorrow as well. So you're Tuesday morning, things start off nice and quietly, another muggy start. And right here, right around 12 noon, could see a couple of isolated showers along the coast. But once that wind starts to kick up out of the southwest, again, that will help to force all of that energy farther inland, so to the east of I-75. Farther inland, once again, that's where we'll see those showers and storms bubble up with the heating of the day. So it'll be another afternoon to stay weather aware. Heavy downpours, lightning being our biggest threat. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. As for that bus stop forecast, we'll start off your morning partly cloudy around 70 degrees. And for the afternoon, especially inland, do keep your eye to the sky. Chances for showers and storms will stay in the forecast through the weekend. It's not until this weather pattern breaks next week.